Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm here with uh, Martin from Buckethead. Say hey, say Hi. hello. Hey. I have returned. You have returned. From the depths from our last interview. Uh, yeah. Today uh, I have uh, some more questions for you. And these are questions from the community. I posted a um, community post uh, pretty recently. Um, so if you posted anything in there, uh, high chance your question will be um, in this video. Hi community. But yes, exactly. Community questions. We got this. Are you ready, Martin? <sighs> yes, now okay. I am. Uh, question number one. Why do we always have to do the hand calibration? There are mods that eliminate the need to do it every time. Is this feature ever coming to the base game? All right. Well, so in the first place, if it's a commonly requested feature, we can definitely take this feature into consideration. Um, I, however, would guess that most users prefer like more of a move accuracy instead of the convenience that applies to it, if you know what I mean with this. So yes, I understand that uh, calibration, hand calibration can be quite annoying sometimes, but you know, some people grow, some people shrink if you're very old, uh, if you're getting older, sorry, not very old. I'm sorry, senior people. <laughs> we could make it an option, what's being suggested mm -hmm. here. So if you want to have it as an option, please request it in the feedback platform. And we will take a look at it, of course. Feedback platform is also linked in the description down below, so be sure to check that out. If you want a quick fix for this, you can download OVX mod called Loader Skipper. Uh, I'll also put a link to it in the description of this video, and a link to the modding Discord server if you need any help installing the mods. So this is a very specific question, uh, and I thought it would be funny to put it in, so here we go. Will there be a trans coat cosmetic or a bowler hat available in the game? Uh, probably not. Unless the player base really wants it. So, regarding cosmetics, to give you a bit of a better explanation, what we're like targeting for is we're targeting for cosmetics that will fit the fighters. So, that will fit the Rumble Sport. So, you wouldn't see Rumblers with clown shoes on. Let's say that for an example. As an example. Unless the community is really pushing us to do that, then we will take it into consideration. Yes. Are there any plans for PvE content in the future? Will there be official support for custom maps and skins? Can we have more detail on what to expect from the maps, modes and matchmaking update? Okay, so let's target this question in oh, or these questions in parts. So let's first start with the PvE part. Do we have anything in the work for the future? Um, no, not at the moment. Uh, we don't really have anything that's really definitive in the books right now. Uh, we will work on that after we've released Rumble 1.0. All right. right, the second uh, question it? was, do they plan to add official custom map slash skin support? Mm -hmm. um, no. No custom map slash skin support now. And mm -hmm. can we have more detail on what to expect with the maps modes and matchmaking updates? Well, what I can tell you is that there will be new maps. Maps? There will be as new in, game modes. As in plural plurals? Plural made yes. modes and plural maps? Yes, plural mm -hmm. maps. When oh, S. I can't wait to have my plural game my modes. Tree line and like it's forest area. That'd be so cool. <laughs> forest map. Can we get a forest map, Martin? Like that's a that's actually like my request. Can I have a forest map with tall trees I, and, and I have two words for you. Feedback platform. <laughs> Collect those votes, boy. <laughs> will Collect you, the votes. Really and quickly if it's between popular enough, we might think about it. Quickly in between, will you also add like different uh, variations of the maps you already have? So like sunset version of the ring or Maybe snowy even would be highly unlike unlikely, but s simple like weather conditions like sunsets and maybe nighttime. Yeah. I I understand. Uh, we haven't thought about it like the weather conditions feature yet. Mm -hmm. However, it sounds like a cool idea. Yeah. Uh, so I will definitely let Tom know and Chilter know uh, what their opinion about is about this. Uh, so it will be new maps, new game modes, and matchmaking. Uh, will work with so-called match make preferences. So to explain what this means, these match make preferences is uh, that uh, right now in our current design, 
what we've thought is um, there will be uh, like a list of maps, a list of game modes, and a list of battle formats you can choose. Battle formats? So, I haven't mentioned battle formats yet. Hereby, battle formats. Battle oh. formats is 1v1, 2v2, no way. 3v3. That is insane. Uh, How would the hosting with that work? With 2v2? The hosting? Uh, there will still be one host, and the rest okay. will be a client. Uh, there will be a list of better formats, maps, and game modes. And then you, as a player, you are able to uh, select your preferences for each of these subjects. So let's say you want to play in the arena with a 1v1 game mode and only the game mode Rumble. That's it. Nothing more, nothing less. Mm, That's game, possible. Game mode and then you game only mode. get that. Game mode rumble, as in yeah, that's that's just one v one in so-called shooter terms, deathmatch like that, like the normal one, the casual gameplay. Gotcha. Yeah, but with other uh, game modes, is that also like just not two v two and three v three, but also like and different things? Yeah. So uh, first, I want to tell you that battle formats and game modes are different. So battle formats is just the amount of players. Mm -hmm. uh, game modes are entirely different lose and win conditions so let's uh, let's give you an example rumble for example is a game mode but also uh tetherball you know you have a 3v3 match uh with a game mode called tetherball, uh, tetherball and you have to punch the the ball and punch people off the arena with that ball like that if you yeah is that you know a, what i mean with that is that a game mode you're planning or is that just a rough idea uh, just a rough idea. Okay. Uh, it was just a rough example of, to explain you what the game modes could be. Interesting. All right. Yeah. Uh, what work in progress are you most excited about? So what I can tell you is that uh, a lot of the majority of the team is excited about character creation, the current work. But personally, for me, uh, I love to, I love to do experiments. And in this case, I'm very excited for the PlayStation development. I'm uh, really curious how it is to be in that kind of PlayStation environment and uh, what to do for PSVR 2. Of course, uh, <clears throat> I've already done some research if Rumble would be possible on the PSVR 2 at all. And theoretically, it is possible or else I would not uh, <laughs> continue doing that. Um, but yeah, uh, I'm most excited for the PlayStation development. I like I like working with these kind of new things. Is anything other than customization and gear coins coming in the next update? Nothing really substantially. Bug fixes will be uploaded as well, of course. I mean, people who are asking for bug fixes will, of course, we will, of course, listen to those people. We will never pause with fixing bugs. Uh, bugs. Nice. Bugs. Nothing substantially, nothing really big, nothing really super exciting to announce, unfortunately. So, uh... <laughs> Will there ever be more earthbending moves such as structures, modifiers, or punches? Also, are there plans to introduce subbending like lava or metal manipulation? Will there be new earthbending moves? Yes, for sure. Hmm. Uh, new structures, modifiers, or punches? Yes for sure cool will there be ever uh, will there ever be sub bendings like lava or metal uh right now no we cannot no. say anything about sub bending methods like lava or metal uh, it sounds like a cool idea though however mm -hmm. we have to look at it yeah because uh, yeah. then you would probably need a whole new map or the ring needs to be filled with lava or something and i, I don't know it, it's kind of weird and, and then you need to control really... the lava and everything exactly. and then it becomes water bending exactly <laughs> rumble already feels a lot like water bending in my opinion if you get to the higher okay. levels it's it's a very fluid game so uh, uh, yeah, 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 i think yeah, it could yeah, work yeah. but it's uh, i don't know we'll see in the future maybe we'll see so um is there anything you can uh, tell us about these new moves <laughs> Any cool ideas you guys have had with the team? We have a we have a whiteboard filled with them. Well, whiteboard, it's a, it's a blackboard actually. A blackboard okay. filled with them. Well, what I would really would like to see is some kind of meteorite move, if you know what I mean. It's with already that, in the game. like some, 
Sorry? That's already in the game. Then I have nothing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, will the shift stone board ever be filled up completely? Uh, there will be no more shift stones. Will the board be filled? Well, we're not sure about that. I mean, you've seen the board, right? <laughs> it's it's empty, dude. I think you forgot. Yeah. A, I think you forgot a few. But don't don't, don't worry. Like there will be way more shift stones than okay. the ones you see now. You you see right now. Uh, yes. but I cannot assure you that the board will be filled with shift stones. Is there any uh, shift stones you're working on currently that you can tell us a little bit about? No. Not working on it. No. Okay. So we're so we're so occupied with character customization. It's just. Sense. Yeah. Will the cosmetics be available through a menu or a board with a mirror? Yeah, so the cosmetics, they will be accessible through the dressing room. Uh, the dressing room, uh, so first of all, if you're going to purchase cosmetics, you have to access the gear market. And then whenever you've bought them there at the gear market, you can go to the dressing room and uh, customize your character. Yeah. Cool. Is it is it a physical location in like the gym, or is it something yeah. you can travel to? Yeah, it's a physical location in the gym, and I do have something to say here that there will be more information about the dressing room very soon. So uh, stay tuned. Okay. And yeah, where where is the dressing room located? In the gym. Yeah, no, in the gym. Uh, in the gym? Uh, it's close. It's close to the. I know what your question is. I wanted to be a very silly man. Uh, yeah, it's close funny. to the Rumble School. School. Yeah, the Rumble School. Rumble the... Station. You mean you mean you mean the the. Wait, the, in in our project combat... it was called the school. The, the combat, combat study. Uh oh yeah, the combat study. Okay. Oh. Rumble player <laughs> most. Not... We always have our project names, you know, and also the Rumble School is the combat study, Martin. Yeah. It's uh it's gonna be in, in between the combat study and. Uh, you mean the Rumble the School? On area. What? You mean the Rumble School? Yeah, 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 the Rumble yeah, School. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Bastard. Uh, you know, you see, you see where a big rock is, right? When you spawn in the yeah, yeah, gym. Yeah, because that's exactly you... where I thought it would be. That's insane. It's funny because like there's a big area there you can go behind now. So that that would seem the most logical. So nice that my uh, predictions were right. <laughs> How much are you enjoying the development of the game? Oh, uh, it's, it's still very fun, actually. Uh, outside of working hours, I sometimes... Actually, yesterday, I worked on Rumble. I worked on bug fixes. Bug fixes. Mm -hmm. I like to uh, communicate with the community. I love to communicate with the community, even. That's why I'm doing the community management right now. Uh, one of the reasons, actually. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, I'm still fully enjoying it. Uh, I can't speak for the other guys. But I believe that they also are still enjoying it a lot. Yeah, that's all I have to say. Okay, that's uh, good to know because uh, a good team, uh, a fun team makes a good team, right? Yes, exactly. All right, I have one more question for you, and then you're uh, we're all set. Oh, yeah, you thought we're... We, you thought we were done, huh? Oh, you thought oh. you thought we were done. Oh, okay, okay, go ahead, go ahead. Is there any more new information on when the next update will drop? Mm, no. So, <clears throat> I'm so thinking around that. Welcome in Europa, blijf hier tot ik dood ga. Europa, pa, Europa, pa, Europa, pa, 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 pa